Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Samfx YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom rom uh, reviews this is a paranoid android u8 alpha 1 5th october 2023 is the security patch and android version is 14 as you can see this is the easter egg here kernel user is 4.14.326 is the kernel u8 this is the alpha 1 version for poco x3 slash nfc the flashing method i have given in the shorts video i'll be giving that in the description and what is the firmware i used that is also going to be given in the description check out the description and also for more information and more uh, discussion join a dedicated whatsapp group available for poco x3 slash nfc you can join that and also you can join telegram group for updates and all and we'll be straightly moving on the benchmark results here and before that i will enable the aku battery here we'll do that first open go to all apps aku battery don't optimize done now you'll get this notification as you can see this is how the results will going to get we'll see at the end of the video also and we'll be seeing some of the benchmark results and you also get this pre-installed google camera kind of application this is google camera go guys you get all the options here settings you can see here into the photo mode if i go into settings again you get these kind of options it's a google go camera if you want anything advanced you can use arnable gcam and also agc and other different types of gcam available for poco x you can try that and this is typical home screen and this is the quick settings panel you get you also don't get here any uh, sync option by default it's available here as you can see this is the quick settings toggles you get this is the typical home screen if i press and hold here this is the launcher and widgets you get similar here it's kind of android 14 but i don't think so you will be disappointed once you flash this rom because it's nothing changer only uh, good thing i found here is this one the android 14 shell as you can see in the lock screen you can change these customizations nothing more here you can even customize the size and color of it and dynamic small whatever it is let me show that as you can see this how the lock screen it looks like uh, maybe in some of the upcoming builds but this is an alpha alpha droid or paranoid android version u8 version alpha one but overall this rom is good we'll be seeing some benchmark results first into the file manager into screenshots yeah this is the gig score 745 is the single score and 1806 is the multi score and android version is 14 you can see linux 4.14.326 u8 kernel has been used in this particular rom and this is a hundred that test guys you can see for 15 minutes i have run the score you can see the maximum is around 196 and average is 174 and minimum is 144 million jps and for this is for 15 minutes you can see on the screen and it's throttled to 85 percent of its max performance which is quite good in my opinion uh but there is a ui lag i have noticed in this particular room sorry to say but it is happening here and this is one thing i really like it abstract wallpapers some of them are free as you can see up to this there are free just download it and use it as a wallpaper or use it for your use that's fine but uh, drm information again you get here level one certified you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's not the problem here even the safety net status also will get passed here you guys can see and will be showing this anti benchmark results too you can also see the app opening time in this particular rom as you can see 3 lakh 92 000, uh, sorry 99244 is the score and 0.1 degree celsius is the temperature raise and four percentage of battery has been dropped during this testing of anti in this particular uh, smartphone using the paranoid android u8 alpha 1 edition this all the benchmark results and ui wise it's not that smooth i already explained to you as you can see quick this one the recent apps is quite fast here but ui i have noticed some lag initially even now there is some lag it's not as smooth as something we can expect in the android 14 kind of roms that's simply missing here and quick settings panel also i would add option of that uh, whatever i said that full notification i mean the adaptive brightness 
toggle is simply missing that's fine but uh, the thing is sync option could have been given and this is a typical dialer you get nothing fancy here too as you can see you can directly make the video call and you can and also record the call but you'll announce the another other person that you are recording the call and the internet speed wise also i am getting good speeds here using wi-fi i have 100 mbps uh, fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 mbps which is also fine even with mobile data connection also is working fine otg is also supported and headphones are also good the serious speakers output is also quite good in this particular rom nothing different here and the folders have been done like this organization uh, overall it's a good rom uh, we'll be seeing you in the settings here now we'll close that yeah going into settings nothing new here you can also go from here into the settings and you can also see the app active status from here if you want to kill that you can just press stop that's how it works and there's the settings panel i found a little bit uh new here will be showing you that and this is the gesture setting swipe to screenshot and one handed mode that's fine navigation mode into gesture navigation uh, it's quite simple rom it is nothing fancy or anything like that you guys can see here and regarding some other settings like security and privacy i found a little bit difficult and odd here as you can see you just get only uh, single fingerprint unlock no face unlock that is fine S fingerprint unlock as you can see that's fine actually but th it should have been added the face unlock also but anyhow that's missing in this particular ROM and other settings like accessibility menu is also fine here as you can see display size and text you can customize here you can also make bold text and accessibility menu again you get settings here shortcut it's a handy feature it's there from android 12 it's nothing been improved in the android 14 that what i want to say and battery again you get performance mode here battery saver also you can get battery percentage you can enable optimization profiles are also given for individual app you can select and change them battery saver again you can do these things extreme battery saver is simply missing in this particular rom and sound and vibration again you get plenty of options as you can see on the screen media player also you can customize some of the settings vibration and haptics individually you can customize the intensity of certain apps and me sound enhancer direct sound settings are also included in this particular room you can select choose the preset and scene and even headphone type and also the hi-fi audio system is also included here this is really good thing now moving into some display settings as you can see you also get dark theme implementation nothing like pitch black condition or thing like that colors you can customize them smooth display is given also four speak refresh rate and uh, screen saver if you want you can enable or disable this and refresh it per app and additional display features by default it kept to low just disable that to get better battery life we'll see bgm also there is some problem regarding bgm we'll be showing that as you can see once i open you get option to enable the uh, this one storage permission in the settings even though if i enabled that but still i'm not able to open this particular game we'll be showing you the settings here as you can see even the permission every permission i have enabled even nearby devices also i will allow even though if i allow any of the permissions uh, the game is not getting opened here that's the one uh, drawback of this particular rom as of now i have enabled every setting but still it's unable to open this game uh, that's the one drawback i think this is a alpha variant hence you can keep uh, away from this as of now just to see the android 14 also i don't recommend this particular rom they can improve in the upcoming builds that's my take on this particular rom guys if you still not subscribed to my youtube channel hit that subscribe button also allow that bell notification and join telegram and whatsapp group for more benefits and we'll meet you with another interesting video guys until that keep smelling bye bye for now Thank you.